just eternally mixing things up and getting back to my roots. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to kind of, I guess, pick up right where I left off. This was the video I was working on before I was called away by family stuff, which, which is to say a few weeks ago. It's been a minute since I've been around on YouTube, but I don't know. Let's just have some fun and get into this. What I wanted to do today, my whole plan for this video was... I wanted to take a look again at older products that I used to really, really love. And one of those older products that I used to really, really love is the Reload Vapor Reload RTA. I've said in multiple, multiple videos that it's my favorite RTA. I've used those words. I've said this: the Reload RTA is my favorite RTA. Is it? Is it still? Shit. I don't know. I've been using it for a few weeks. Uh, I'm going to go over it right now. There's already a build in it. We're just going to wick it and kind of put it all back together. But RTAs, I'm a huge fan of RTAs. I've been using RTAs for years and years and years and years and years and years. And RTAs, I have some gripes with RTAs. For a long time, RTAs just kept getting better and better and better. And the next RTA was inevitably better than the prior versions. Like, oh, less leaking, smoother airflow, bigger juice capacity, things like this. And then, I don't know what happened. RTAs got weird and everybody wanted top airflow RTAs. And you ended up with these big honking RTAs that just looked like a like a baseball on top of a mod. Like they became these weird, rounded, bulbousy ball things. And I don't personally, I don't know, I don't personally really enjoy that aesthetic of the RTA. So one of the things, you know, that aesthetic of RTAs in general. So one of the things that I really loved about the Reload Vapor RTA was the aesthetic of it. Had that real slick, just straight glass on there, straight glass, no bubble glass option. It wasn't a great capacity. It just, it just wasn't a fantastic capacity. I think it was only three and a half mils maybe with the straight glass option on there and I apologize this is uh this is super messy and wet and juicy because I just got done rinsing it and cleaning it out and one thing I want to say is this glass this is my first gripe with the reload vapor RTA this glass I've broken it twice now and it's just I'm not careless with it. I haven't thrown it around or dropped it or anything like that. I've simply been using it as it was intended. I was taking the glass off to rinse it, clean it off, snap it back on to use it. One time I snapped it back on and it just shattered, just broke. Huge chunk crack out of the side and I thought, mother... I wasn't even using it wrong. I didn't even drop it. I was literally just sliding the glass on. Twice that happened. It, within the last, I don't know, two months, I've gone through two glasses. Finally, I have this glass on here that I'm treating like the freaking first copy of the Bible because I'm afraid it's going to break again. Shout out yo yo to my patron Thomas Crow who happened to have a spare Reload Vapor Reload RTA glass just kind of sitting around. And he sent it to me. He sent it to me, and now I get to use the Reload Vapor S or Reload Vapor S. What? What am I even talking about? This is the Reload Vapor RTA. So ugh, enough yammering. Let's get to let's get down to brass tacks here. No, not brass tacks. That usually means when we're talking about money. I don't have a term for this. Let's just get into some uppy closey here. I'm just gonna be re-wicking it. Like I said, I've got it on top of this Vapor Resso. Uh, I don't even remember the name of this. The Q, the, it's something short. Ah, I'll put the name up here when I'm editing it because I can't remember the name of this mod right now. But that's where I'm using it because, I don't know, I like this mod and I wanted to use it. And all I want to do is re-wick this real fast. I I've rebuilt it many multitude, multitudes of times. This is actually a fairly fresh rebuild in here you can kind of see it's got that postless deck design it's got airflow that kind of cradles your coils right there translates into some really nice flavor it's got a big uh, kind of wick capture area down here um in the past i've never felt the need to like thin out my wicks with this particular rta i know that's pretty standard practice these days for a lot of rtas but i mean not to show my age in the vape industry but once upon a time thinning out your wicks 
it was never uh it was never a thought it was never it was never a thing i mean i've built so many rtas without thinning out the wicks that now when i build an rta and i maybe do need to thin out the wicks it's not i don't know it's just not something that comes to my mind I have been thinning out the wicks when I've been building this Reload Vapor uh, RTA. I I'm just using some uh, some cotton bacon. I'm just going to pinch off. I think these are three, two, two millimeter coils. These might be two and a half, two, and a, two to two and a half millimeter coils. I don't think they're much bigger than that. So I'm just going to try to eyeball this like, uh, you know, the, the, the best I can here. Let's get this, uh, let's get this wicked up. Uh, one thing that I do when I'm when I'm wicking my reload vapor reload RTA is because of the way that those those capture cups for the wicks are kind of set up, I just leave the wicks a, a little bit longer. Remember that you can always remove cotton, but you can't necessarily ever, I mean, ever really, unless you're like a wizard, alchemist, sorcerer, I don't know. You can't add cotton back on. So I just kind of give them preliminary clips and then I'll thin it out, and then I'll trim them down to size, and then I'll get them down into those little little wick capture cups. Yeah, there's honestly uh, there's honestly not much to wick in it. As you can see, I thinned out my wicks just a little bit. I stuffed them down into those little catch cups down there for the wicks to go into. It's kind of real super easy peasy. The biggest thing with, with most RTAs, and especially I feel like with the reload, is getting the right uh, amount, like thickness of cotton in there. With cotton bacon, it's a little bit sometimes hit and miss until you can kind of get your rhythm and peel off strips that are that are big enough or that are that like perfect diameter. You want it to be snug, but not like so snug it's going to pull your coils around. You want it to have just a little bit of tightness through there. I feel like I did these pretty well i got it all wicked up um i don't have any liquid so Matt, my bad <laughs> all right so i'm gonna be loading this up today with some turkish maize no real reason other than it was a bottle sitting over there and i thought wow that that sounds just a little bit tasty so liquid it up saturate it up anyway that you normally would. You just feel comfortable. One thing you want to do, just just get all of your wicks wet. You want your coils wet. You want your wicks wet. And while I'm kind of saturating this, I always give it just a like a little bit of a pulse, just a little bit of a press so that it kind of sucks that liquid into the inner area of the coil, inner area of the cotton. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty good. It's not a difficult RTA to build. It's not really a difficult RTA to wick. Uh, sometimes it can be, like I said, just using the correct amount of cotton. And, and this goes for not just the reload, but for every RTA basically in existence. I've said this a lot in the past, but they're basically just balancing. It's a balancing act, right? It's a balancing act of your liquid viscosity, you know, how big diameter your coils are, how much cotton you're using. If you're thinning out your cotton, if you're not thinning out your cotton, it's always a little bit of a balancing act to get it all working together perfectly and flawlessly. But I'm able to do it on the Reload Vapor RTA consistently, consistently over and over and over again. And that's just one of my favorite things about this RTA. Now let's fill it up. We got it put together. All, all that happens next is the chimney goes on. The wicks are all in place. There's two very large kidney shaped juice fill holes up here. Makes it real easy to fill. You just blah, your liquid in fill it up. It's only three and a half mils. And this is a clouds bro clouds type of tank. So you do kind of plow through juice. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but as much as I love the aesthetic, and I, I mean, absolutely love the aesthetic of this RTA with that straight glass on there. It's just, uh, it's just a capacity issue. It's a bummer only having 
only having three and a half mils is kind of a bummer. They don't offer a bubble glass option for it. And now in hindsight, uh, I kind of wish they did. But enough talking. Let's just vape this thing. The coils are the same. The wattage should be the same. Turkish maize. Cheers. Here we go. Yeah. It's awesome. It's an awesome vape. One of the things that I really like about this RTA is the flavor. It's just a flavor banger. It's just there. I mean, I can't think of any other ways to say it. It's literally just a flavor banger of an RTA. The airflow isn't as smooth as I would like. I mean, it's real interesting coming back to things that you kind of looked at maybe a little bit through like rose colored glasses. Like in my mind, the reload RTA was like, it's the best. It's just the best RTA. It's my favorite RTA. After rebuilding it a bunch, and after re-wicking it a bunch, and after re-vaping it a bunch, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, uh, fallen a little bit, I think, in my rankings a little bit. The airflow, like I said, feels sharp to me now. If I drag a little too hard, it tends to get maybe a little bit, little bit turbulent. But the resistance of the airflow, this is one of the things I really liked about this RTA, the resistance of the airflow when you take that drag, even at full open, it just feels perfect to me. And that's a completely insanely uh, like subjective thing to say, but just the overall resistance of the airflow is flawless to me. It might not be smooth, but the airflow resistance is flawless to me. The flavor is flawless to me on this. The fit and finish on this, it's a high quality product top to bottom with the exception of the glass breaking on me constantly. Otherwise, the fit and finish is pretty flawless on it. The fin fin fit and finish should be pretty flawless on it because it's a $70 RTA still, $70. Now, here's where we're gonna get real, 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 real serious over here with Grim Green. Vape budget hands definitely needed for a $70 RTA. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Aliens game, am I gonna rebuy the reload RTA? Probably not. I, I realize that's a that's a that's a big 180 from going from my favorite RTA to something that I don't think I would buy if the aliens came. And let me just with with the with the running the risk of running too long here. Let me just say, I still really like the way this vapes. I like the way it's built. I like the way it's put together. It just feels like a high quality tank. The airflow resistance is perfect. The flavor is spectacular and that's not an exaggeration this rta just has banging 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 one more banging flavor and that that is my favorite thing about the reload rta i think the reload i realize i sound a little bit all over the place but finally here's where we're landing i think the reload in its time was the best RTA that you could buy on the market. Compared to a lot of RTAs out now, I don't think it super holds up. The one place it does hold up is in the flavor department. I'm gonna continue using this RTA because I love the flavor from it so much. If it held up and it was worth the price of admission, I would absolutely be standing behind it. But after a few years, the Reload RTA, it, it just has become a little bit outdated, and now I'm repeating myself. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links aren't allowed in the description anymore, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but that's what I got. Here's how we do the damn thing. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, let's keep on vaping.